Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Country Music Armadillo Show. Big show this week. We've got Pee Wee Moore and his wife, Nikki Moore. Guys, thanks for taking the time to join us on the show here Thank this you. week. Thank you, Thank so you much for having us. us. It's an honor. I've been waiting to see you guys for years. And you guys booked this show like six months out. And I'm like, well, sure, you know, sometime between now and... Well, and this is this is back in March. Yeah. I'm like, sure, sometime between now and October, they'll be somewhere closer. Yeah. <laughs> you were and I was somewhere else. So this has been an odyssey to get here. Finally got here. Thank God. It was worth it. Well, hey, it's, Thank it's you. a great journey for all of us. You get a chance to go see Pee Wee Moore, get out and do it. He's coming to your town soon. He's got a new, well, not a new record out. He's got one out last year, American Outlaw. Get it at his website. So you guys just came back from somewhere that a lot of people want to go but it seems like very few people actually get to go you guys just came back from a, an extensive tour of europe right we yeah. did we 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 uh we went to uh it, france spain italy croatia croatia germany germany monaco mm -hmm. austria had a great time met some great people and uh, it's it's a uh, it's it's amazing to to find real country music lovers all over the world. All over the world. I know we've got some that are fans of the page, and I, I message with them every now and then. So how was the support for the music over there? It was, uh, you know, we, we, we'd never played Croatia before, and we showed up on a Wednesday night, and you couldn't have fit anybody else in the venue. Not one more body yeah. could have fit and, in there. It was insane. And they, yeah. they sang all the words to every song the whole night long <laughs> that is awesome. that is with their awesome. fist in the air and it was like i felt like we were rock stars and it was, it was pretty great you know it's it's good to have people over the pond that are are hip to the cause oh yeah it's, yeah absolutely but to, to you know as we were talking before to them uh we're, we're not necessarily underground country we're we're, we're mainstream country to them. Mainstream new country to they them. They don't recognize. You know, we're, they don't. They don't recognize the the Luke Bryan and, and the, I don't even know Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift and all that. They don't. Whoever those new guys. Are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the loop, but uh, hey, yeah, they don't recognize that as as country music over there. It's huh. you know, it's it, and it's refreshing. Sure, sure, absolutely. It, it, our uh, our society is so force fed that kind of crap. It's it's. It, it's nuts. <laughs> so you guys were over there for how long? We were a month this right past month, time. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yep. It's our second trip this year, but this time we were there for about a month. Nice. And you guys are planning on going back, right? Oh, Sounds yeah. like it went successful. We'll March, April. April. March or April. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. We're planning to spend probably two months next time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So you, did you guys live on the road out there, or how, how did that work? Uh, you know, at a hotels and uh, the generosity of, of friends we'd met, and, you know, we, we kind of hung out with, with our buddies that we'd, we'd met over there, and then, uh, well, you know, we lived in hotels the rest of the time. And, uh, it was a good deal. It was good. It was fun. Cool. Cool. So, tell us about the early years. How did you get into music? Shoot, man, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, my my mom and my uncle Billy, uh, they both played and sang country music, and they still do. But uh, you know, some of my earliest memories were them getting back from seeing Willie Nelson or Waylon Jennings or. And, and and it just kind of burned in my memory of just talking about how cool they were because they were outlaws, you know. And it's like, you know, Willie and Waylon, they don't, they're not part of the, the the system, you know. And it's like, that that's my earliest memories is, is kind of identifying with that. But but yeah, they 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 played music, and uh, my grand grandfather even had a band when I was a kid, you know, and before that. But but I come from a very musically Enriched family. But. Family tradition. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got your wife out here on the road with you, and I've got to say, that's that's unique, man. I, I don't see many people who have their wife in the band. How does how does that work out? Does she ever have to crack on you? Do we need to go home? You know, <laughs> she doesn't. You know, she's a super trooper. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though. I love she loves traveling. She has a good I love time playing music. It's a whole new world for her. and uh, It is, and, you know. I grew up in a musical family as well, but my family was more Southern gospel oriented, you know, so we, we, I grew up singing and playing in church and all of that. So it just, it, it's a natural thing to just 
I agree. transfer over to country because it's all kind of really the same. You know, it's, it really it's in is. That wheelhouse. It yes. is. I grew up singing and playing church too, but we, somewhere we went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so you had a new CD out last year, American yeah. Outlaw, excellent CD. If you don't oh. have it yet, get right in your life. Go Thank to his you. website and get it right now. How did how did the recording of that come about? Oh, you, you know, I I. I had a bunch of songs, and <laughs> I, I was working with uh, Rusty Knuckles on that one, and uh, I'd been, I talked to him about, several times throughout the years about doing a record with them, and uh, they buckled down, and was like, let's, let's do it, and so we uh, we put some songs together for it, and I went to uh, to uh, my buddy Jeff Coppage's studio, and he, he's a great producer, Phenomenal engineer, producer. Yes. and uh, he recorded a the funniest thing is like all that are you ready for football stuff that Hank Jr. did yes okay. he's, he's produced albums for Journey for he, everyone you can he's think produced, of he's produced so many gold platinum records it, I, I can't even name them all you know yeah. but, nice. but, it, but he's a he's a real music fan and he doesn't do anything anymore that he doesn't he, he's not into you know that's okay and he's respectable he's, he's the kind of guy that's not in it for the money you know and he, he's He's a cool dude. So but we recorded it with him, and uh, and it just everything I've ever done with him turns out phenomenal. Yeah. So, so the reception for that has been pretty good. Oh, it's been great. Yeah. You guys have been out touring in support of it for what? It came out last summer, right? It came yeah. Out, uh, it's been over, over a year, over a year. now. Yeah, it's over been, a year. Yeah. You guys yeah. are still yeah. out on the road, yeah, putting it out there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play a song from that record in this. Okay, yeah. I didn't pick one. That's the first time I've, I've ever <laughs> have not picked a song. So I want you guys to pick a song oh, for us know, to insert uh, into there and lead us into it. You know, uh, the title track, American Outlaw, is a good one. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, if we can, I'd like to dedicate it to our, our buddy, George Christie, who is, uh, who is the... Uh, the president of the Ventura chapter of the Hells Angels for over 40 years, and uh, he kind of inspired that one, and and, really? and, and we, we we worked back and forth on a, a documentary they were doing about him, and it was uh, the last American Outlaw. Okay, that's badass. Well, this is uh, the title track of Pee Wee Moore's American Outlaw. We'll be right back with more. Been called abrasive and slightly more and slightly off the wall. Entangled in the devil's weed and fed him means and bootleg alcohol. We raised a lot of hell More than some would live to tell about the fall Last of the dying breed To live and breathe the American outlaw Last of the dying breed To live and breathe American outlaw I found a friend in whiskey And tore the doors off every bar around Said a prayer to Lynchburg Every time I had to let that hammer down I 
I was raised on the Bible, but the bottle has absolved me of it all. Last of the dying breed, a living breed, American outlaw. Last of the dying breed, a living breed, American outlaw. Welcome back to the Country Music Armadillo Show. You just heard American Outlaw. We're still here with Pee Wee and Nikki Moore. So I love to talk about songwriting. So kind of what's what's the process when you sit down and write songs? It's, uh, it's insanity. It's <laughs> there is no process. <laughs> it's not recommended. He says, <laughs> he says, hey, I've got this idea. And he'll tell me like three lines of it. And we'll sit up till four o'clock in the morning and try to write a song. That's exactly yeah, that's the process. It's, it's, it's lunacy. <laughs> and we'll have to leave at six in the morning to go somewhere else. So it really sucks. But it's good at the same time. Yeah, I try not to do it. <laughs> if, if I can get away with it. <laughs> so do you have a, a songwriting book of stuff that maybe you'll you'll write three or four lines on it and you'll you'll get stuck and I'll, shit, you know, come I, back to it i kind of just keep it all in my head and uh you know it's since, since the advent of the the iphone i i, I keep notes these days <laughs> but i rarely even go back and visit them though i've got i've probably got in this in this phone here more than a hundred half finished yeah. songs. <laughs> or we'll be driving down the road and we'll be like hey Here's an idea. I'll be like driving, and you know, everybody's asleep, and I'll be like, oh, here's a song. Like, here's two lines to a song, and I'll wake him up, and I'll be like, hey, hey. And then we'll start, and we'll start typing on the iPhone or something. So. Do you ever find yourself coming up with the same idea twice? Not not twice. I, I, I find myself coming up with the same idea somebody else came up with. <laughs> we'll have to look at it and be like, is somebody else already write this, Wait a minute. or are we okay here? Well, yeah. wasn't it Christofferson that said uh, amateurs borrow and professionals steal? Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> so, I, I, this is another question that I should give you this question in advance because everybody, oh shit, I don't know. If you could pick any artist from any era to sing any one of your songs, who would you pick and why? Oh man, <laughs> that's a hard that's a hard decision, and uh, you know, my favorite guys haven't been necessarily the uh the best singers but the i guess the most unique you know, songwriters and deliverers of, of of the songs you know like you, you talk about chris dolphinson i mean that that guy to me yeah he's he's the best mm-hmm. uh guy clark uh towns van zandt i love towns van zandt uh yeah i mean there, there's uh, one of my favorites that doesn't get as much love as uh, as those guys as a, a, a guy named Terry Allen. Yes. And he's a, oh. he's a guy from Lubbock, Texas, who who grew up you know, and went to school with with you know, Buddy Holly and, and we and listen Waylon to him and all those all guys all the time. You know? And he is and such a great story. I, I, I can never get a, enough Terry Allen, but his his stories are just phenomenal. Phenomenal. They really his, are. Uh, I guess you would call it his. Um, sense of humor there's, yeah. a, there's a there's a definite delivery of sense of humor in his in his songs and, and it's just story there's always a story it's line. always a it's great always story a great you know? story i can dig that yeah. definitely i'll have to go look him up Terry I'm, awesome. I'm sure i've heard some of his stuff he's phenomenal yeah. Yeah. he didn't understand really amazing time. lucinda williams has recorded his songs okay. and, and uh i mean his album Lubbock on Everything is a great album. Yeah, and Juarez as well. War, Juarez mm-hmm. is my favorite, but it's, it's almost like oh. it's almost like a play, but it's an album. Okay. It's a very conceptual album, like uh, much in the vein of uh, Willie Nelson's uh, Red-Headed Stranger, but it, it's, it's, it's a lot more in-depth than Red-Headed Stranger. Nice, nice. The world needs more of that sort of oh, yes. we don't. Yeah. He's phenomenal. 
more more concept albums. You talked about wanting to do one, and those yeah, are, those I mean, are just so much fun to sit and listen to. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a whole story, and yes. it's, it's 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 more than just a speckle of random songs. Right. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, you you feel more fulfilled at the end because you've gone somewhere. You've gone right? through the gone, whole yes. yeah, yeah, ordeal exactly. with them, and it's it's amazing. I'm I'm. I'm in awe sometimes that there aren't more concept albums, especially today. Yeah. That's, everybody likes that sort of thing. But. They do, yeah. And it's, it's uh, people are, are more hip to, to art, it seems. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? and hopefully that will be changing. So we talked kind of about you doing a concept album. So what else is on the horizon for you? you, you know, we, just, uh, we just started our own label, and we're going to, We've got some cool stuff in the works for that, We've had some neat ideas. Uh, some of our friends from overseas, I think, are going to do a few things on the, the label, and uh, yeah. yeah, it'll be a lot we've of fun. We've done that. We've got a, uh, we've got a music festival we started. This will be our third year in 2017, uh, the Great American Honky Tonk Revival. Mm-hmm. And, and it keeps like 16, 18 bands 16, this year. 16, 18 bands. Mm-hmm. We've got a great little... Natural stage in a, in a natural amphitheater on our property, and we, we we've had a ball so far with it. But yeah, this year will be our best year, I'm, I'm certain. Nice, nice. So when is that? It's a uh, Memorial Day weekend. I think it's the twenty six, seventh, eight, something like that. Yeah, like late, that. Late, and it's May. a free. It's free. free. All ages. Yeah, we do it for free. Bring your kids. No bring your family. Bring your mom. Ages. Your grandpa. Bring your booze. Bring whatever. Whatever. Camp you know, on the property camp, for free. Free. Can't beat that now. Yeah. We just want people to come and hear good music, and you know, if you feel so inclined, make a donation to the cause. If yeah. you can't, that's okay too. We still want you to just come and have a good time. Absolutely. Sure. sure. Yeah. We try to further the. The, the the betterment of the, of the arts and uh, try to try to push the the honky tonk and hillbilly and the country spectrum of the music genres out there. Try to keep pushing it. That's great. That's great. That's what we need right now because we talked about it earlier. But the game is changing and people are quickly catching on and stuff like that. You know, that's especially being free. And being able to expose new people to new artists, Absolutely. helping bridge the gap. I, I'm, I'm going to a festival tomorrow night in uh, Winchester, Indiana, about 40 miles northwest of Indianapolis. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that because there's, I think, uh, 12 or 13 bands on the lineup oh, tomorrow. Wow. And yeah. I, I, I only know two or three of them. That's, That's cool. cool. So That's cool. You never know yeah. what you're going to find. Yep. You know? I'm and, and, uh, really excited for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So... Um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. It's late at night. It's what time is it here? We got oh, we... <laughs> it's two two thirty in the morning. <laughs> working all hours. Pee Wee, Nikki, thank you guys so much. Oh, thank for you, you the so time much for being for here, being on the show. I've enjoyed it. We'll catch up with you guys down the road. I'll look into coming to the festival. You Absolutely, we'd love enough. to have okay. you come cover that. We're about, whereabouts is that? It's at in now? Whitwell, Tennessee. Okay. We live up on the mountain in a little community called the Pocket. <laughs> so that's, that's not terribly far. You yeah. guys are. Yeah, we're down in South Florida. So. Yeah, yeah, we're about four, four and a half hours from, from here. here you know, so, yeah, yeah, so it's between bad. Chattanooga and Nashville. Okay. Yeah. So it's not okay. too far. No, ain't bad at all. Yeah. So, come hang out with us all week. We'd love to have you. Camp. Absolutely. Definitely, and I'll, I'll yeah. be post. I'll keep you guys updated with that stuff on the page on the website. Mm-hmm. Um, I was supposed to tell you hello from Gary Hayes. Gary's, oh, yeah. oh, we love Gary. 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 We yes, love Gary's Gary. a, a good friend of mine. He was supposed yeah. to be up at the. Crooked Smile Festival he's tomorrow, sick but he's, weekend, he's sick. Yeah. So he's staying home, and Gary I and I haven't that. actually met yet. He's we, a sweetheart. We hope Gary's Gary gets a better. He's a, he's yeah. a good friend he's of ours, and we hope he's feeling better and, and, and get some rest, Gary. And Feel better soon. Yeah. So we all love you. Maybe we can all get together down there next year. Yeah, yes. for sure. Hopefully. Guys, thank you so much. Thank it's you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Take care. This has been the Country Music Armadillo Show.